about today, we're going to learn about animal Buddhist and Ang. Hello guys, I am Krishna Nakal, father of Sarka Nakal. Yes. Of Hesarka. In this video, we are going to learn about angle vortex and apps. Yes. Then, can you define me what do you mean by angles? Hello, guys, tell me. Okay. When two straight lines meet to a common point and split between them, we call an angle. Okay. I'll try here one figure and you have to define me the angle, okay? In the given figure A, B, C, you have to tell me about the angles. Which one is the angle? Tell me, right? Mm. Which one is the angle? You have to tell me that when two lines meet at a point, the space between these two lines is called angle. Is it? Yes. Then write me angle. Which one is the angle? The angle a, B, or C. Which one is the angle? Mm. The angle is B. How can you say that B is the angle? How can you write? B may be vortex also. Yes. Okay. How can you write? Write that. Angle B or you can write angle A or B or angle C. So, so these are angles. Okay. Okay. This is angle B. Yes. Okay. If I write B, is this the angle? No. That we is have written this one. What is it? This is the symbol of an angle. Oh. It means that this symbol represents the angle. Yes. If we forget to write this symbol, then can it be angle? No. It will be the vertex. Okay. Then. You have to know that, you have to remember that, for the angle, we have to write the symbol, angle, yeah? Yes, this angle. Okay. Then, can you tell me about the vortex? What is vortex? The vortex is a corner of an angle. Okay. Then, when two lines are meet at a point, this point is called vortex, or the angular, or the corner of any angle is called the vortex, is it? Then, this B is the vortex? Yes, it is oh, the vortex. Okay. In this figure, angle B, it is angle. Yes. B is the angle. Then B is the vortex. Means that, for vortex, it is not necessary to write the symbol, is it? Yes. But for the angle, you must have to write the symbol angle. Okay. Then tell me about the arms. Can you tell me? Yes, I can. Can you tell me? Have you seen these two straight lines? Yeah, I have seen here. A, B, B and C. There are two lines. That means they two, these two lines mean they are arm. Oh, these two lines are the arm of this figure. Yes. Yeah, these two lines meet at a point. And these two lines are called the arms. Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay. Then A, B, B, C, these are the arms. Is this correct? Yes, it's correct. Yeah. When two lines meet at a point, then these two lines are called the arms. Yeah. This is called the angle. And two lines are meet at a point. This is called the vortex. For vortex, you have to write a little bit. For angle, you have to write angle to B more. Arms, these two lines meet at the point, these lines are called arms. I think you have clear in this figure. Okay, I'll draw the next figure and you have to tell me about the, you have to tell me about the angles, vertex, and arms. Okay, next figure. X, Y, Z. You have to write angles here, angles, yes. then after vertex. And then after arms. Okay, right now. Which one is the angles? The angle is X. X is the angle. Okay, right now. Angle X. That's good. Okay, which one is the vertex then? The vertex is X. X. Okay, right now. Because 
this x, if x, y and x, y and x, these two ends are made as this point. That's why x is called the border. Okay, then tell me the arms. Write down the arms. The arms are y x and x z. Okay, write down this. Okay, thank you guys. I think we have clear about what they mean by angle, vertex, and arms. Okay.